welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create this Valentine's inspired look. So without further ado, let's begin. The first thing that I did was apply uh, NYX Cosmetics Jumbo Pencil in the shade Milk and I'm going to use this as a night base for my lid and I put a little bit um, to the crease as well so I'm just applying this all over the eye and then I am going to blend it out with a beauty blender and I'm going to use my black beauty blender and I'm going to just blend it out all over the eye these um, pencils I love them so much because they work perfectly for eye primers and they're super affordable and also you can put this pencil on your waterline as you will see um, farther in the video so then I am going to grab this eyeshadow called black tie from Modus Cosmetics with my 224 brush by MAC and I'm gonna put it right on the crease and I'm gonna work this eyeshadow from the outer corner of the eye to the inner corner of the eye making windshield wiper motion and also you just want to make sure you use the tip of the brush you don't push it too much into the eye you just want to use the tip of the brush to help you blend then I am just going to um, accentuate the color a little bit more so I just grab a little bit more and I'm just slowly gradually building the color up you don't want to start with too much eyeshadow you just want to start with a little bit and build the eyeshadow as you go as you move forward until you um, get the desired amount on the eye and remember to use my referral code Camila Bravo with K right on the Modus website to save money on your order and then I'm going to grab the 221 brush by MAC and I'm just gonna use the same eyeshadow and I'm just gonna um, accentuate the color a little bit more right on that socket of the eye because I want to create like a smoked out effect so you just want to make sure it's, it's really um, it's more accentuated on the crease and as it goes out to the brow bone it kind of like fades away and that's why I'm using two brushes this is more of a detail brush and the other one which is this one which is a little bit bigger is more fluffy is gonna blend the edges to create a smoked out look so that's how you should always work your eyeshadows to make a nice blended look. Then I'm going to grab this eyeshadow called Platinum and I'm going to spray a little bit of the Fix Plus by MAC onto my brush. The brush is the 239 and I'm going to apply this right on my lid. And as you guys can see, when you spray like a finisher spray or even just add a little water to your, um, to your shimmery shadows, it just like it creates a more like vibrant effect and it grabs a lot of like it shows more of the pigmentation of the eyeshadow so you want to make sure you put this all over the lid and also in the inner corner of the eye and a little bit like on the tear duct but also at the bottom of the tear duct to just create to just open up your eyes and just create like a nice uh, you know cool effect and then I'm just going to grab again the 221 brush by MAC and I'm just going to blend um, the two eyeshadows, the platinum from the lid and also the one on the crease to just make sure there's no hard edges. And then I'm going to grab these flat brush by crown brush and I'm going to put the same eyeshadow that I use on the crease right on the bottom lash line. And as you guys can see, I'm using um, not so many shadows and you would think that I will use so many shadows to create this beautiful look, but I didn't because I want you guys to be able to recreate it home. So then I'm using just this whipped cream eyeshadow which is optional and I'm just gonna use it to just highlight my brow bone it's such a perfect like like yellow undertone eyeshadow to just give it that nice pop of color on your brow bone and then I'm using here the Tarte Taste um, gel liner by uh, Tarte Cosmetics which comes with the brush so it's amazing this product is like so creamy and it helps you really glide that liner it doesn't dry as fast which is great because if you're just starting out you want to just have enough time to work that liner and if you make a mistake to you know to help you know to give you some time to clean it up and do it again so yeah I love this eyeliner and yes yeah, my first time trying it out I what I've because it's a new one so I don't know if they have the same formula on the one that came in a pot but this one that comes in this tube is actually pretty pretty nice so I really really like it and it comes with a brush as well so it's a two for one which is great because many people that buy a gel liner don't have the brush and they don't want to go ahead and spend another like $20 or $15 on a brush so I feel like this product is just perfect so I definitely recommend it I believe it's like only $20 for both so go ahead and check it out 
It's from Tarte Cosmetics. And then as you guys can see, I'm just showing you how I'm doing the liner. I actually just start very small from the bottom lash line. And then I'm just working up to make it more thicker. So I do have a detailed video on how to create a wing liner. If you want to check that out, I'll show you exactly how to create it. And now I'm using the Huda Beauty Lashes in the style Scarlet. And these lashes are so beautiful. They, they are extended on the outer part of the eye, which is great because it will give you that almond shape effect and I absolutely love them so yeah so I just put a little bit of glue on the lash and I start from the middle so I like I glue it to the middle first and then I do the outer the inner corner of the eye and then I do the outer corner of the eye to just make sure that you know that it sticks and then with the same tweezers which is gonna be your best friend if you're just starting out I'm just like because the mascara is still fresh because I usually curl my lashes and apply mascara before doing the falsies uh, I'm just like sticking it together to the falsies so that way they blend together and now I'm grabbing the same NYX pencil that I used before earlier and as you guys can see this pencil is also great for your waterline because you open up your eyes and I give you that dull effect and then I'm just cleaning up that loose powder that I had underneath my eyes and then I'm using the telescopic mascara from L'Oreal Paris to apply it on my bottom lashes because it's like the perfect brush to help you get that those um, bottom lashes elongated and really give you that nice effect the whispery effect all right so after we finish up with the eyes i'm gonna go ahead and apply high beam by benefit cosmetics which is a highlighter and i'm going to use it right on my cheekbones and i'm going to blend it out with a beauty blender and this size beauty blender is actually another new product that beauty blender is coming out with and this is the perfect size to apply your cream or liquid blush but I thought I would use it for my highlighter as well and then I'm gonna use the benefit tint cheek and lip um, stain which the color I thought it was absolutely gorgeous because I was going for everything like pinks especially for my um, lips it was a pink tone I wanted everything to be on the pink family to be on the same color family so the highlighter is also a pink undertone shade and then I'm going to use and this lip and this lip and cheek stain is also on a pink undertone so I'm going to apply it right on my cheeks to give me that nice blush look and also that dull effect and yeah I'm blending it out with the wet beauty blender and voila how beautiful is that shade I think this will actually be a great product for the summer when you just want something simple uh, on the skin something pretty so you guys will see me using it I guess more often now and the cool thing is you can also use it for the lips as a lip stain so if you don't have like a pink color you can actually use this product to put it on your lips and give you that nice rosy effect uh, flush of color on your lips um, if you don't want to go for something red so guys we have come to an end I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up thank you so much for all your lovely comments i read every single one of your comments and i appreciate your love thank you so much i hope you have a wonderful valentine's day and i hope to have given you some inspiration for my um, sunday so i see you guys on my next video bye